So if you get to Zanzibar and you're on the ground and people are showing you around, especially off peak or even on like when they're in season and it's um, peak season, you can actually get somewhere to stay that's quite affordable. But, um, the people who were with us didn't stay with anyone. We took them house shopping. They went to, you can go to an apartment if you don't want to take the whole apartment because you're alone, right? They're really pretty apartments. They're like three floors, like they usually built like three floors of a house. And you can go check out one room in the house and one room goes for 3000 and that was a really fancy room like really fancy like they had really cool carpets they had a flat screen tv they had i don't know if they had wi-fi okay i know 2000 doesn't sound affordable but considering that there are hotels that would charge 20,000 a night in the same vicinity you might as well go for the one for 2000 yeah and it's it's not even it's like you get out of stone town there's a road like there was a road where the market was and everything and you cross that road and now you can get an apartment in that area and it's it's really safe i think that was something i'd have to say was commendable about zanzibar was that the uh, like the place is really secure i think i went to zanzibar because i really wanted to see stone town i would walk through Zan through stone town every day i think by the time i left zanzibar i was in zanzibar for eight days by the time i left zanzibar i could walk through the whole of stone town by myself like i walked everywhere in stone town at every single hour of the day and i feel like that was really nice because we walked once at was it 3 a.m we had come from for rodani market and we were going back to the house and we walked like at 3 a.m in the morning in stone town and i was just like mesmerized it's so beautiful like it's crazy it's it's ancient it feels like you're walking you've taken a trip back in time and you walk on this street with, like that has cobblestone and with white buildings on the side with this really nice yellow tint because of the street lights at night and you have this little paths that cars keep passing you and you have to like go to the move to the side there's this ice cream shop that is just the only ice cream shop in stone town <laughs> That is fantastic. I, that was my first time eating ice cream cake. I'd never eaten ice cream cake. And that became the place where I would every day go for ice cream cake <laughs> as I'm going to for Rodani Market. And it's, it's, it's beautiful because when you're walking to the ice cream shop, you're passing through all this really, you pass through Zanzibar Serena and I can't remember the name of that other fancy hotel. I can't remember, but it was so beautiful and you pass through there and you hear like from afar you hear the waves like hitting against the rock and just hear whoosh, 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 whoosh. And then you walk through and then when you get to Forodani you look and then you're like oh there's the ocean <laughs> this is right next to us like Forodani is the open air like food market every night people would just go and it's like a big park and a big place to sit just by the by the water it's not the beach it's like a dock it's just where they have these cannons mounted <laughs> next to the water. We would go there every night and just eat food. And we'd eat like from calamari to octopus to the stuff they make, I think, like viazi karai. Oh, food in Varadhani is actually not that cheap, I'd say. Because like a stick of like mshikaki is like 200 bob, which I guess would be affordable if you are i guess you're traveling with dollars i guess because it would be two dollars but then the problem is you really want to taste a lot so you're gonna end up spending like a thousand every trip you go for or you can decide to like try out just one thing today one thing tomorrow one thing today one thing tomorrow and oh i did like going to prison island prison island was pretty cool because <laughs> So prison island is supposed to apparently be converted to a prison but then they didn't so they made it like a like a like a like a like a place to keep tortoises and those tortoises are so 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 big so big like i'm used to the like the tiny ones that are like oh i'm so kobe, I'm so kobe. these ones are like Vroom! but still Oh, they take years to cross the road and if they pass you there you have to wait for them to pass oh but it was beautiful Another thing I'd say, try jet skiing in Zanzibar. Because it's more affordable. I mean, like for, was it 10 minutes? 
10 minutes or like 15 minutes or 30 i am so sorry like this is so vague but like around for 10 minutes maybe was around 500 shillings so you think that maybe that's expensive but you try going jet skiing in mombasa you hear those prices buy a painting if you can i mean the souvenir shops beautiful just have a little money for souvenirs like i didn't have money for souvenirs because i was going on a super 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 budget trip but like i they have this remarkable paintings you go to Maasai market and you'll see a painting for like eight thousand twelve thousand kenya shillings you go to zanzibar you can buy it for fifteen hundred in Zanzibar they have this really beautiful doors I know you know those Swahili doors and the windows so they also make photo frames just like that and they have this really, really little tiny treasure chests that are just as cute and they have like these battleships like that have been like made and they have just really really cute souvenirs so please when you're going to Zanzibar do think about carrying a little money just for souvenirs yeah they also had really cool fruits really weird tropical fruits yeah like they had bongo juice which was really good and they had like this markets where you could just go buy them and it was really nice and also in zanzibar i remember i bought like small perfume and i was shocked to find out that gift of zanzibar is actually from mombasa what guys and then they have these little soaps like if you go to the spice farms because you know that zanzibar have a lot of spices so you go to the spice farms yeah have money again to buy those spices that are there especially if you like cooking food with a lot of spices like swahili dishes they do have a lot of spices at a really affordable rates especially in the town if you go to like the wholesale places they have really good rates and they're gonna get you really good deals so i went and bought spices that i really didn't need but anyway, you could also go to the, 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 mar the if you go to the spice farms, they are a bit expensive because those guys are touristy, like they're waiting for tourists. But if you go to the town, it's quite affordable. Transport is not as expensive. It's not as expensive as here in Nairobi. I, I thought transport was quite affordable. And especially since once I can walk even, I can walk like different distances. I can walk where I'm going. I can come back anytime. It's secure. I don't have to panic. Oh, if you do want to swim with the dolphins, um there's a you can swim with them at, at pemba was it called pemba i think i'm not sure if it's pemba or where, where i don't remember where it was called i feel like pemba is another island but anyway it's a it's a two hour drive from stone town so and it costs five thousand shillings so if you do want to swim with the dolphins please consider that and factor it into your price have a grand time. If you can, take a motorcycle ride across town. That's what we did and it was really fun because you get to see the town like going really fast and the wind blowing through your air and you're in Zanzibar and it's just, it's, it's a really nice place. Think about the time when you're gonna go so that you don't go with the monsoon winds that brought the Arabs like me. But make sure to go and especially, okay, if you have money to go take the flight and you, if you suffer from really bad severe seasickness like my friend, do not take the ferry, but if you're on budget, bear it. Don't eat a lot in advance. And another thing I never, I said I was going to talk about it. There's an Mpesa in Zanzibar. How incredible is that? It's just one and she opens like, you have to like take her because she like opens sometimes at like nine or 10. So she opens there. And so if you're going to travel like a day before, I mean, if you're going to travel like on a monday please make sure you've withdrawn all your money by sunday because you really need to be on time for like the ferries if you go once then you'll realize that exploring africa is actually not that hard you know like especially if you're in africa it's really easy for us to just travel and see our own continent all right bye bye